All right. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, you're going to play. Yeah, I'm going to try. <laughs> okay. Ooh, ooh, so this ooh. is our game. Um, go up in time? Yeah, okay. So we had a lot of stages of development in this game just because we changed our plans about like 10 times. At first, I created this really cool mountain like um, texture that. So yeah, this mountain texture, but then we had the trouble with it being diagonally oriented, so we had to restart. It was kind of interesting <laughs> right, is that we have the trees actually angled um, so that it looks like you're going downhill, but really you're on a flat surface, um, which makes it a lot easier to code. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, we already talked a little bit about the hit like, structure for the trees. Uh, automatically, what it sets it to is it goes around the entire tree, including the branches, and so the hit capsule is like basically would occupy the entire forest. So we had to like manually narrow it down for the trees. Um, yeah, in the future, we would like to have in the other version that we had to scrap, there were coins, so you could like they were like spinning kind of like the rollerball coins, and you could traverse and try and collect them. Um, yeah, in the future, we'd like to have like an actual person instead of a cube. Um, yeah. <laughs> <that'd be cool. laughs> um, Budget cuts. Yeah. You can't risk real lives on a mountain like this. No. Uh, yeah, no, it was, it was really fun to create. Like, I don't know if how many of your games like double the terraforming feature on Unity, but it's so cool. You can make all these mountains to the right like in 10 seconds. It's super easy and it's very, very fun. I want to see if I can hit that invisible wall. Yeah, so there's this invisible wall that kind of keeps you in the playing field on the right side, which I guess is kind of cheating because we didn't put trees there, but... Uh, oh, oh, there's a tree. 